All right, guys, here are five cool new features of the new Mac OS X Yosemite. The first is obviously the new design. As you can see, it's got new icons, it has new fonts, and it's similar to last year's iOS 7 design overhaul. It's been the same for years, but with OS X Yosemite, it has a, a translucency feel to it. It's got a flatter, modern look. It's colorful and it might be difficult for some people to get used to uh, because it's so, it resembles iOS. This is, uh, Yosemite is like the first turning point for Mac OS X in terms of making it consistent with iOS as far as the designs resembling each other. Personally, for me, I like this new design. Uh, it didn't take long for it to grow on me. I guess because I'm used to iOS 7 now. But I'm glad that they are making it more consistent across the board as far as iOS and Mac OS X. The second cool new feature is called dark mode. So not only did we get a new design, we got a new option to change the theme, I guess you could call it. If you go into your system preferences, into general, you'll see a checkbox says use dark menu bar and dock. So if you check that, what it does, it, it changes the menu bar and the dock and the menu bar overlays to a darker color. So this is dark mode. So um, if you're a fan of night mode themes, like for your apps, like me, then you will like this new dark mode, uh, especially if you don't like that new translucency feel. I guess this kind of tones that down and, and makes it easier on the eyes. I think it looks really good. I, I might have the dark mode enabled most of the time when I'm using this operating system. Cool new feature number three is the new notification center. At the top right, you have your notification center button. When you click that, you will see that you have your today feature just like on iOS. So you can see an overview of your day. You got your reminders, uh, your birthdays, all that good stuff. And plus it has widgets now that we can add uh, any type of widget uh, calculator, calendar, stocks, weather. You can add weather. So at the bottom, you got the edit button. You can add and take away these widgets and move it around in your order however you want it. And also, developers are going to be able to create custom widgets for this that you can add via the Mac App Store. So the notification center has definitely improved on Yosemite. Number four, Spotlight Search got put on steroids. It now acts and looks like an old dear friend of us Mac users, an app called Alfred. So you may not need Alfred anymore with the new Spotlight Search, I don't know. When you access Spotlight Search, it pops up in the middle of your screen and it searches a lot more than just your Mac's hard drive. It searches the web and even gives you direct results from Wikipedia, iTunes, the Mac App Store, and sites like Fandango. So stuff like that it gives you intelligent results directly within Spotlight Search, a lot better than the previous versions. And the fifth and final new cool feature of Yosemite is Safari. I've never been a big fan of Safari on the Mac, but this new Safari with Yosemite has a new look to it and has some useful features to make it a more appealing browser. First of all, the green maximize button on Yosemite is now a full screen button. So if you click that, it'll put everything on full screen. It'll put that app on full screen. And Safari does a great job at just reducing the clutter itself. So when you put Safari in full screen mode, uh, you do get the most real estate uh, it looks really good so also now when you click in the address bar it gives you a drop down menu of your bookmarks and your most viewed sites which i like i like that feature the browser itself is really fast and it's smarter too so it actually gives you results sort of like the new spotlight search does it gives you intelligent results from top sites so if i search somebody or something it gives you a little drop down menu suggestion with the top site like wikipedia so and then i just got quick access to that wikipedia page which is cool i like that feature you also have a new button that gives you a, a view of all your open tabs on one single screen so you can manage your tabs more efficiently all these features make it a great browser but not great enough for me personally to switch from chrome all right, guys, that was my video of five cool new features of Mac OS X Yosemite. And my question to you is, what is your favorite new feature that you like about Yosemite or that you're looking forward to with Mac OS 10.10? I'm quite curious to know. So leave your answer down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more Mac videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Andy with My Tech Methods. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later. Bye.